All right. Well, hopefully it's uh, starting to play. Welcome to our pre-Thanksgiving live show. Uh, today is uh, November 25th, 2014. Thanks for stopping in. I'm Bob the Axeman Hildebrand, and this is... Bill from Marketing. Well played, Bill. Um, now, actually, just to start out with, we want to let you guys know about all of the Black Friday deals we've got coming up, coming up, as well as our online doorbusters and a bunch of other exciting stuff that you want to know about. So, without further ado, Bill. Okay, so... <laughs> Let's put you on the spot. Thank, thank you. Thank you. So, for those of you that don't know, we do have two stores. We have one here in Walnut, California. We also have one in Chesterfield, Virginia. And both of them are getting scoot over. I'm really, like, <laughs> out of frame. Yeah. Thank you. I was... Waiting to say that. Okay, so the other one is in Chesterfield, Virginia. And both of them, we are going to be having Black Friday sales. Yes. And I'm actually going to be working at the California store. Woo. And so, in these, we are going to have 23% off. Keep going. Keep I know, going. I, I was waiting for your reaction. I was making a face. I was like, mm, okay. 23% <laughs> uh, off. We are going to be having insane door busters. Um, some of them... You know, you're going to be seeing 20% off, maybe 30% off, maybe even more. It's going to be some crazy stuff going on. Uh, first 200 people in line are going to be getting goodie bags. So for the first 200 customers, oh, they're going oh, to oh, keep going. You're slowing down. Well, okay, well, I was trying to build. Well, you're, build, you're taking space to, okay, to make fine, 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 fine. All, everyone who comes is going to be getting a raffle ticket. For everyone who spends $100 or more, you're going to be getting another raffle okay, ticket. Okay, slow, it, slow, it, raffle slow, ticket. slow it down. There you see? Happy? All right, let's go. Okay, so uh, everyone who comes is going to be getting a raffle ticket. And for every $100 you spend, you're going to get another raffle ticket. So let's say you spend $1,000. That's another 10 raffle tickets. So you have 11 raffle tickets. And we are going to be have some crazy raffle prizes. Crazy. Some amazing raffle prizes provided by our sponsors. Sponsors can't talk. We're going to have some gun. We're going to have a gun from G&G. &G. We also got a Crytac here that we're going to be raffling up. We also have some guns from KWA. We got some guns from Lancer Tactical. We got gear from Condor. We got a lot of stuff that we're going to be giving away. Uh, plus, we're going to have the goodie bags for uh, the first 200, which is going to have a lot of different swag in it, patches, t-shirts, hats. Who knows? Maybe some BBs. Never know. And anyway, the doors are going to be opening at 7 a.m. in your respective time zones. So... Obviously, 7, 7 a.m. Pacific and 7 a.m. Eastern. So 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. on both the East and the West Coast in those respective time zones. Um, now, in addition to the doorbusters we're going to have at the sales, we're going to have doorbusters online. And thankfully, both Bill and I have a handy-dandy list. Of and I have two of them here. Yes, you do. We have a lot of stuff. Now, there's, there's doorbusters that are going live uh, at various times uh, throughout the holiday season. But uh, the thing about these doorbusters is that they are first come, first serve, limited quantities. So if you want to get a hold of these, you're going to want to be on our website, either airsoft, well, airsoftgi.com, essentially. Um, and you're going to want to be checking that frequently so you can take advantage of these. So, for example, some of these, you know, we're going to have uh, an Elite Force H&K M27 IAR, essentially an IAR. Um, and the doorbuster price is, we can announce these, right? Yeah, yeah, we can okay, announce Okay, cool. Yeah. Uh, it's going to be $369.99 <laughs> instead of $449.99. So that's a pretty huge price drop. I believe that's uh, 80 bucks off. 80 bucks. $80? Wow. Damn. Anyway, so an M27 IAR, if you want that, you know, you, that's our doorbuster price for that. Like, let's say you want a 416 CQB, you're going to have $75 off, so that's going to be $359.99. Um, in addition to that, we have uh, 417. I, I know a lot of friends who have that. That's going to be $90 off. If you want a 416 CQB with case, the bronze limited edition, that's going to be $100. You, you want to hand, hand me one of those? Uh, the AK. I like the AK. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so this one right here, this is an APS Conceptions Advanced AK-209 rifle. Let me see if I get that. Yeah, you have to. There we, there we go. go. Yeah. This guy normally retails. i got to go to right-handed mode. Uh, normally retails for $230. Doorbuster price? $130. Wow, $100 so off. So $100 off. You're almost. You're getting, I think, was about 44% off. Mm -hmm. There's also going to be another one of the APS Conceptions, the uh, ASR-114 or... 114, I don't know however you want to pronounce it. Mm -hmm. um, that bad boy is going to be over 50% off. It normally retails for 285 It's going to be 130 So be sure to check out Airsoft GI. It's going to be more specifically, I believe it's going to be renamed to the um, Blade Doorbuster. Normally it's the, 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 sh the shock, shocker section. 
God, I cannot talk. Yeah, you're really doing a bit today. All I right, am so doing bad. If you guys want to look for our doorbusters, uh, it's essentially the shocker section. That's going to be renamed to the doorbusters slash shocker section. So you can go on there and you can click on that button and check out our doorbusters when they go live. So you're going to want to make sure you check our website pretty frequently uh, as soon as like Black Friday hits because stuff is going to be going crazy. I believe that's going to be midnight. Uh, midnight, correct? Uh, it's when some of the deals are going on, but the thing is a lot of them are going to be randomly throughout the day. That's correct. So you're going to so, want to check the website as often yeah. as possible uh, to take advantage of that. And again, they're first come, first serve. Mm -hmm. um, so let's see. Let's some let's list off some other ones. If you want a uh, Blackwater Full Metal 1911A1 CO2 blowback pistol, essentially an Elite Force blowback pistol by uh, for CO2, that is going to be uh, $34 off. So you're going to be able to get that for $75 instead of $110, which is Not awesome. Yeah. Uh, if you want an Elite Force 1911A1, uh, you know, a, a standard 1911, that's going to that's gonna be for $75. Uh, if you want, uh, let's see, what's another one here? I saw a UAR. A UAR is going to be for $80. That's going to be $105 off. Jeez. Good yeah. Lord. Well, there's, a lot of, there's a lot of really good stuff. And anyway, the point is, is that if you want to get great deals on guns, like some ridiculous prices off, take advantage of our doorbusters online if you're not at our walk-in stores on, our, on the West Coast or on the East Coast. If you can't make it, get on our websites and check out that shockers slash doorbusters section. You're going to want to get those deals because, again, first, first come, first serve, limited quantity. So. And now while we are on the subject of Black Friday... Another thing you're going to want to check out is our, let me make sure I get this right, Black Friday Stocking Stuffer Mystery Patch Package. It's a mouthful. It's only $5, and for those of you that don't know what a mystery package or a mystery box is, is it's your chance to win something of much greater value than what you pay. And the thing is, this one's going to be only $5, so you're doing some holiday shopping, you know, you're buying guns, gear, or whatever. Throw one of those in. It's five bucks. You're guaranteed at least a patch that you I mean you're going to put on your gear anyway. But there's a chance you can win a thousand dollar airsoft GI gift card. You can win a Crytek SPR. A um, what else is in there? Oh, the um, ASG CZ Scorpion Evo. That's there's a, a oh, that's a good yeah. Gun. There's I a lot of gun. other stuff that you can win for only five dollars. So I mean, while you're doing checkout, I mean, maybe you also need to break that point for like free shipping or something. There you go. Five bucks. Get your free shipping if you're right at the border. So definitely check that out. That one goes live at 12 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, or I believe that would be 3 a.m. for our friends on the East Coast. I believe so. I believe so. So be sure you, you check that out, too. So what's great about these mystery boxes, like especially the patch package, is that like patches uh, essentially cost between 3 and $5 anyway. All the ones we put in the package are going to cost at least $5. So you're getting your money's worth. But on top of that, like you said, you'll have a chance to win. And if you add that into your order, it's essentially just like another chance to win. And whenever you make an order uh, mm -hmm. for this holiday season, you're also going to take part of our Santa's giveaway. Essentially, you're going to get a co uh, not a coupon code. You're going to get a passcode after you make your order that you can put into a secondary website called the Santa's giveaway. And you'll have a chance to win something else. So not only do you have that chance to win with that mystery patch package or with one of our mystery boxes you want to get, you're going to have another chance for every single order you make. You're going to be entered in the Santa's giveaway. You can put that code in and have another chance. So essentially, if you split up your orders, you have more chances to win, but if you're just making one big uh, order anyway, you know, if you're ordering mystery boxes, that's going to be a chance to win, and the Santa's giveaway is going to be another chance to win. Pretty awesome. Yes. Yeah. Um, but another thing to mention is that when you're buying online with us, um, you know, there there's a way to save save money, and there's a way to get free stuff. And you have the choice between two of those. You can use our coupon code, 23% off Thanksgiving, um, and you can use that to save money. Or you, in lieu of that, you can also go through our million-dollar giveaway, which is essentially when you buy a bunch of products on our website, um, certain products will give you points that you can put into this million-dollar giveaway and get, like, let's say, airsoft guns, parts, essentials, tactical gear, accessories. You can choose from almost the entire gambit of our website, use those points, and add those in as free gifts that will appear in your cart when you check out. So, you know, let's say you just want to get more stuff or extra things you wouldn't normally expect to get. That Honestly, like I really like the million-dollar giveaway because... For me, it's just so much more fun. Like, it would be nice to get, like, more money back, but if I'm on there spending money anyway and want to get more stuff, you just click through all that stuff and say, oh, I want that. Oh, I want that. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is like, because I was playing around with it, like, yesterday. Yeah, because I think, like, yeah. some of the guns, like, you can buy a gun and then you can get one of the, the like, tri-shot shotguns, which are always fun to, to screw around with. I'm a big fan of tri-shot shotguns because, you know, they're generally around 50 or $60, and if you ever, ever played with one, it changes your style of gameplay. It, it's... 
for me, it's more like hunting. Like you, you really have to conserve your ammo, and and your shots have to count. Uh, but with those shotguns, they also have a little bit of spread. Yeah, um, and they're it's just also, a lot of fun to use. They're a lot of fun, and it's also it's a great loner gun for someone else who doesn't have a gun, or you want to get your friend who's never played before. You you can actually give them your gun and use a shotgun just to like kind of change your play style. So uh, again, big fan of shotguns. Um, all right. So that said, um, uh, we all we also do have a lot. A lot of, of holiday package deals, and Bill knows this firsthand because he's been setting up a lot of magic yes. Bill. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, got Keep the it I got the general grievous cough today. <coughs> Keep it together. What's the situation, Captain? Okay. Um, That's the third time you use that joke. I today. sorry, I've been watching Star Wars: The Clone Wars. You don't have to apologize for that. I know. No. Okay, so yeah, we do have a lot of different holiday packages going on. You have like pushed me out of the screen again. Um, uh, there's going going on um, a lot of them and like there is guaranteed to be probably a package for every single person out there we got ones where it's guns with guns my personal favorite one is the uh, was the, the king the king arms MP15 with the MP9 C so you're getting double MPs and the MP9 C does have full auto capability and that is only I want to say it's about 300 bucks so essentially so you're, you're getting an M4 style rifle with an MP9 C yes. sidearm yes exactly yeah. and like normally like the retail on that would be I think around 500 or, or a little, it's little like bit more 300 315 or well, something I'm saying if you bought both of them together like yeah, not package wise but, but the, the package, package is like 300 315 so essentially so. a lot of these package deals uh, a lot of them you're getting up to 48% off so yeah. Yeah, some of them are redonkulous. Yeah, they are ridiculous and redonkulous and all sort of us's. Um, <laughs> but yeah, we I mean, packages go from like, let's say one of them was an operator accessory pack where you get a backpack, a flashlight, a laser, mm -hmm. um, a red dot sight, and something else I'm, I'm blitzing on. We also flashlight, have, laser, red dot sight, BBs. BBs and BBs. Uh, there's some that come with uh, a gun. You get four magazines and a backpack and BBs. That one's actually cool. The, the, I like the Smith and, Ar the Smith and Arms. Smith and Wesson MMP15, and it comes with the uh, the LT operator, uh, the rifle backpack. Yeah. You put it in, and then it comes with you got the high cap mag that comes with the gun. Plus, I think it comes with like four more mm -hmm. high capacity magazines, so you're loaded for bear. Yeah, pretty I much. Really wanted to say loaded for bear, and yeah. I finally got to. Indeed. Um, again, you know, my favorite ones uh, for the money is getting a gun and a shotgun with it, because I don't know. Again, love shotguns. Um, so yeah, take advantage of our million dollar giveaway. Take advantage of our insane doorbusters. Um, and essentially, you have a choice between you know the coupon code, the twenty three percent off, or you know the million dollar giveaway. Mm -hmm. uh, but for both of those, you're also going to take advantage of the Santa's giveaway. One thing I would like to note, though, is that if you have an Airsoft GI account, um, and you know obviously you signed up for one, you're going to get two percent rewards back. So whatever money you're saving, whatever money you're spending. Uh, about a month, month and a half later, you're going to get 2% rewards back put into your account. So if you have an Airsoft GI account, that's more money you're going to be getting back that you can use again. And folks in the walk-in store, even folks we meet uh, who shop online, they tell us all the time, like, yeah, I forgot about these points I built up, and I was able to get a pistol. Or like Daniel would say, like a lot of folks would come in not realize they have points, and they'll get an extra mag with their points. They'll get uh, uh, or their rewards back. They'll get extra BBs, extra gas. Uh, I think the the ones that are the coolest are the ones that like don't realize they have that many points, and they get a pistol. They're like, oh man, I just I didn't have a sidearm, but I have these points built up, and shoot, I might as well get a sidearm or another pistol. Awesome. Um, that said, uh, we might as well at least let you guys know there's actually a lot of uh, map pricing uh, drops or at least select brands discounted. Uh, they want to let you know about. Essentially, these are discounts we can't normally offer, but that we're offering just for this select period of time. So, for example, Umarex slash Elite Force will be 15% off. All of their products will be 15% off from Thursday, November 27th until the end of the day on Monday, December 1st. Uh, 6 millimeter Gunworks slash Apex uh, I've used Apex guns, they're really fun. 10% off from Thursday, November 27th until the end of the day, Monday, December 1st. Spartan Imports, uh, for example, some of their products include Classic Army, Guard Dogs, VFC, etc. 10% off from Friday, November 28th until the end of the day on December 12th. Jag Precision, which oh, wow. includes gear such as uh, ENL, I love mm -hmm. ENL AKs, I highly suggest them. SOCOM gear, Mad Bull, VFC, Echo One. Those, all those products from those uh, companies are going to be 15% off from Friday, November 28th until the end of the day, uh, Monday, December 1st. Condor is going to be 15% off all their products from Friday, November 28th until Monday, January 
first. So that's going to go on for quite a while. Wolverine Airsoft, uh, essentially the SMP kit, um, is going to be 15% off uh, on Friday, November 28th only. And KWA will be 10% off from Friday, November 28th until the end of the day, Monday, December 1st. Um, so if you got, if you are at all if you are at all curious about those discounts, uh, those price drops for that limited period of time, just feel free to scroll back and listen to it again. Um, also, uh, make sure to get take advantage of gitactical.com for East Coast shipping because you're going to be able to get it a lot faster. Um, and I think we already mentioned it. Uh, the Super Battlestar Mystery Box is going on right now. And besides the Mystery Patch Package, that's one of the better deals on our website because. It's $149.99. It was actually marked down, I believe, around 14%. It was originally about, uh, I think it was $175. Yeah, $175. But what's great about that is that entire mystery box, everything in there is at least $175 retail price. So you're going to get... You're going to get at least from what you paid for, actually, a little bit cheaper. Uh, you're going to pay a little bit cheaper than that $175 since it's $150. Yeah. Um, and you're going to get stuff that's greater value, or you might have a chance to win something ridiculously awesome. So, uh, for, <coughs> example, <Barrett enemy> too. <coughs> for example, a SOCOM Gear uh, M82 Barrett Snipe Rifle. Uh, some of the other ones was a PTS Masada, which is really cool. Uh, another one is a Crytac LMG. Uh, Daniel from our office has one. In fact, I believe that is actually this is his. Daniel's. That is, you're going to have to. Uh, oh, there we go. No, I was yeah. lifting it up. Yeah. So you could have a chance to win this in that mystery box, but essentially you're going to get your, your money's worth, or you're going to get more than that. In fact, I believe how the mystery box is scheduled, you're already going to get more than what. Yes, you are, because if you're paying one, one about 150 uh, Someone is asking, James Roach, will KWAs ever be discountable online? Um, because they have a, a special oh, yeah. discount again going on, um, KWAs will be discounted. From 10% off from Friday, November 28th until the end of the day, Monday, December 1st. So those discounts are going to be already marked off. So you won't have to apply any coupon code. All of those uh, select brands discounted I mentioned previously, it's going to be marked down on the website. It's already going to be done for you. So that's that's going to be a really good deal. Uh, some odd questions. Yeah, I know. Yep. Um, so I believe that does it for at least uh, the select brands discounted. But, uh, but again, I think the thing that people always get excited about or the the things we have a big run on are obviously our doorbusters. So if you guys are all near a computer, you know, once Black Friday hits, uh, you know, you just, you know, check our website and the lead up to it for other stuff that you might want to get. But uh, check the shockers in the doorbuster section and uh, just constantly check it because there's going to be, gonna be new stuff coming throughout this holiday season. Maybe while you're waiting in line, go to airsoftgi.com. You can order from your phone. We do have a mobile website. Boom. Boom. Face. Okay. Headshot. Yeah, um, we will be uh, taking questions shortly in this live show, but we want to make sure we at least got uh, uh, most of those promos out of the way first. So um, I got to tell you, our walk-in store, uh, our walk-in store, at least uh, sales are always generally fun. Not only for the folks that show up, but you know the look on their faces when not only they either win something or they find stuff they've been waiting for and are finally able to get it. Because mm -hmm. a lot of folks don't know this, but you know. Sometimes when they make airsoft guns, they do limited runs of them, and if you don't get it right away, sometimes they don't make them again. That's happened more times than I can count up with uh, with stuff that I've wanted. You know, I, I either didn't have the money or I didn't want to do the extra work to find the money to get that gun when I had the opportunity, and then when I finally felt secure enough to buy it, they, <laughs> they were all out and they weren't going to make another one. So if you guys know that there's a gun that you want that you can get for a really good deal right now, Take advantage of it, find the money, clear clear some credit, do whatever you have to, and get the gun when you can, because there's no telling when when it's out if we're going to be able to get it in again. In fact, I was uh, I saw someone asking about a limited edition uh, M27 IAR or a limited edition uh, 416. Um, and for example, the limited edition 416 CQB in bronze with the with the carrying case is one of our doorbusters. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's going to be awesome, and you're going to save a hundred dollars on that. That's 20% off. So that's, that's really awesome. Yeah, that's really awesome. So, yes. Um, It'll be fine. That? It'll be fine. Keep going, Bill. Oh, okay. Um, anyway, um, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah, this is actually going to be my first sale working the sales floor. The other ones I have done, like, marketing stuff. But this is going to be my first right. time where customer I Customer service. Or customer service, I should say, yeah. Yeah. Um, this is my first time where I'm actually going to be helping people on the sales floor. Ooh. It's going to bring me back to the back in the day when I used to work retail. Mm -hmm. Back in the day. Jeez. Uh, POW MIA 101 uh, is asking, is an Echo One Platinum Edition Burst Wizard compatible? Uh, I believe there's a variety of Echo One Platinums. 
Um, now, if you look on our website and there's an option to get the Burst Wizard with it, we basically have a deal going on where anytime <coughs> you're buying a gun, you have an option to get a Burst Wizard for 50% off. And essentially, instead of paying $40 for a Burst Wizard, if you buy it when you get a gun, you're going to get it for $20. So it's a lot cheaper. And it's also, you know, Burst Wizards are great because they're going to add Burst functionality. And they're also going to save you on the longevity of your gun. There's a variety of different features in there that uh, protect the gearbox from different internal malfunctions or problems. Um, now, so if you want to get that and you're, you're curious whether it fits in your gun, when we put those things on the website, we actually test them to make sure that they fit in the guns before we allow that special discount because we didn't want people buying it for that cheaper price and not be able to fit it into their gun. So if you're at all curious about whether it will fit in there, go on the website and check to see if that option is there because if it's not, uh, nine times out of ten, it's probably not going to fit internally on the gun. We we basically, we're players too, and we don't want folks to buy something if it's not going to fit on the inside of the gun right out of the box. So um, if you're curious, go check on the website, see if that option is available. If it's not, um, it's not going to fit internally on the gun nine times out of ten. So we got some customs that should be showing up. Ah, yes, Billy. Yes, yeah, good. Also, uh, why don't you go grab that? <coughs> I'll if grab you, If you guys haven't noticed, if you, I always check our newest product section on airsoftgi.com because it's always fun to see new stuff come in. But also, it's really really awesome to see new guns come out of the tech department uh, because they do excellent work and I'm honestly like we have a world-class tech department we legitimately do and I'm really proud of the work they do and if you know if Aaron uh, Aaron or Spencer are watching this you guys do absolutely stunning work and so much so that a lot of the time the guns that come out of the tech department feel like works of art like this and, bad boy and honestly a lot of times We've had them sell before we even get a chance to yeah. put a description up on it. Yeah, that's the fun part. It'll go up, people see the photo, and they're like, I just want it. And yep. they buy it immediately. So, like, we do a review, and then it's too late. Okay. It's already been sold. This one's long. Boom. Mm. 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 Yeah. Uh, now, I don't actually know the name of this one, um, but uh, this is based on an HK416 CQB. We've got the new style barrel extension on it that's quick I will quick tell attached. you the names right now. Okay, Bill. The name of that one is the Phantom. It's the Airsoft GI Custom HK416 Phantom. Pretty awesome. I, I really like this one. Black and disappears into the night like a phantom. Okay, Bill. Okay. <laughs> Good talk. And then uh, this one, let me try and find that. I think, no. Did this sell already? I think it might. I think the one I'm holding might have sold. Well, don't. That's mystery boxes. It's not going to be in there. <sighs> Just scroll down. Scroll down. No, no. It's not going to appear if it's sold out. That's what I'm saying. I saw it earlier. I well, think this one sold. Well, if it's not going to appear, then how are you going to find it? Oh, Air Subject Custom Guns. Yeah, Just that's, go to that. that's what I was doing. <laughs> Okay, Airsoft GI Custom AGs. Let's see if it. Oh, that's that's a, that's a lot. That's a lot. Okay, the cake so, is a lie. <laughs> nice reference to Portal. Um, also, while we're on the subject, um, our G4 Customs. Um, there's a uh, there's a wide variety of G4s available. That's our in-house brand. Um, essentially, you know, we take uh, we take a variety of different. Uh, uh, brands from manufacturers and we'll attach rail kits or other accessories to them do a little internal work as well And honestly if you want to put all that stuff separately onto the gun It would cost you more overall so having our techs do it for you making sure everything is fit perfectly Everything is set up good to go. You're gonna save money overall and get something that's great right out of the box I mean I was looking at our custom g4s and I think last time I counted we had like almost 40 different models We have a lot. <laughs> Yeah, like ridiculous. Yeah a lot yeah, Bob, I think this one might have sold. Okay, well, don't drop it then. I'm not going to drop it. I had it resting, but here it is. I love the paint job on it to make it look like it's nice and dusty. Yeah, well, that's quite I an know accent. Why, I don't know why I did it. It said dusty like that. Nice just, and dusty. I just wanted it nice and, nice and dusty and worn and stuff. And seen. Okay, so that's a really good example. Wait, scroll back up. Scroll back up. Okay, good. The ghost gun sold. Um, oh, the ghost gun sold a while ago. Well, I remember it sold, and then the guy like couldn't pay for it, and he had to like <laughs> return it, and then it sold again. I thought it sold again, but I was just making sure. He was like, LOL, JK, guys. Yeah. LMFAL. Um, so, yeah. Oh, no, it's, it's still here. It just hadn't showed up. Found it. Okay, so that's the Airsoft Jack Custom SPR Firestorm. Firestorm. No, just kidding. It's out of stock it was bought. Oh. Uh, <laughs> so, I'm whoever, if you were watching, good for you. Okay. <laughs> Uh, honestly, like I really prefer this one. Um, I I absolutely love these new barrel extensions. They look awesome as all hell, and they also, you know, obviously can be quick detached. Uh, but I do like how they set up the flash out on this one. It's pretty pretty well set up. The pressure pad is right here. I'm gonna blow out the screen. 
Boo. Wait, wait. Boo. Boo. You know, I like this one, though, because you, I don't know if you saw me earlier when I was at my desk when they brought this in. I was like, oh, this is cool. I was sitting there at my desk, and I, with the bipod out, just sitting there looking at the door. People are like, all right, come on in. All right, well, let's let's put that away so there's no other issues with it before it gets shipped out yeah. to that, that lucky customer who bought it. That is awesome. I am actually a little jealous right now. Um, we also have something uh, new. Um, is that an Amazon thing? Is that already that already start? I think I believe so. Okay, um, I believe we uh, we currently have something going on, on our website where if you don't want to make an Airsoft GI account, which again is really beneficial for you uh, because you get that two percent rewards back, you can actually sign in and uh, check out with Amazon. So if you have an Amazon account, uh, it might be easier for you to just do that. Ow. That is uh, uh, going to be an option on our website. If it's not currently one already, I actually believe it is. So you might want to take advantage of that. That, especially if you have an Amazon account. Um, no, no, Mr. Muncher Man, I still don't have a name. Well, the nickname we had for you originally was Below. Yeah, I don't like that, Below. Well, it's... It, you, if you say it too fast, it sounds like Blow. Okay, well, I mean, it, I'm not going to lie. It does sound, what's that called? Uh, stupid. Yeah. Stupid. But here's the thing is you don't generally get to pick your own nickname. So we are we are hard at work See, on, on finding is, a nickname. The thing is, like that nickname, we were just it was uh, what was that when we were doing my tactical gearheads? I don't know why we didn't just go tactical gearheads, Bill. Why we did Bill O? I have actually. I'm gonna I blame no that. I'm gonna blame that on Max because I believe yeah. he was the one that came up with that. I think it was Max's. Fault. But we're also trying to do that, uh, you know, Billy Mays thing. That was later. Though. That came later because it was like Billy Mays. So we get a Billy O here. We got a fantastic product. It's OxyClean. Man, but man, but man, yeah. But that was a fun video to do. No. <laughs> the speed load I like like Daniel throwing it at something. He was like, blam, blam, blam. That was, that was fun because it was very nerve-wracking, actually, because I'm like... Build the thrill. Build the thrill. Not bad. Mm. When Daniel... Because Daniel was throwing it, and I was catching it. So every time I'm like, don't, just don't drop it. Just don't drop it. Just don't drop yeah. it. I caught it every time, so that was good. But <laughs> that was actually terrifying. Daniel was throwing a speed loader. Elastic Bill. Bill the Elastic. Wasn't there like a... It was because I, I made up... Well, actually, I think it's a real world. We're, real world. Real word. Elasticized. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure it's a real word, but... Uh, ballistic Bill. Ballistic Bill. Not bad. I actually kind of like that one. But because you like it, we can't let you have it. Oh, um, so damn. let's try and find things. like let's, let's think of a nickname that Bill can use that he won't like. Yeah, we're going to go with that. Okay, so... This... Wait, wait, wait. Time out, time out. Who came up with your name, Axe Man? Well, I mean, I have an axe, so that, you know... Well, maybe I go ballistic. Is that your version of going ballistic? Because that was really crappy. <laughs> no, that, that, was, that was awful. That, oh, I'm going to go ballistic. <laughs> Mission accomplished. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm not, I'm not going to go ballistic on camera, because it'd be like one of those bad movies when, like, an alien walks in, like, no, no, go crazy! And, like, the, the, the camera falls, and you just see, like, feet, like, on the ground, and someone lands like this, like... I'm like... They're drooling and blood's coming out. How's that again? One more time. All right. Well, actually, one more time. <laughs> okay, no, that's, that's fine. Um. Oh, actually, that's going ballistic. <laughs> ballistic. Not that. O D Bill. Bill O D. No. Okay. No. Okay. <laughs> 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 Wait, was it Banana Bill? <laughs> that, was, that was pretty good. That was pretty good. Um, over the Hill Bill, not bad. I'm not that old. No, you're not. I'm older than you. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> Fill the Bill, Booby, booby Bill, uh, Brody Bill. <laughs> no. Bill the Magnificent. <laughs> oh, man. Duck Bill. Hashtag rip headphone. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Sorry about the headphones. Um. As in duck bill. Not bad. Like Achievement Go so, so, Someone that is like Muncher Man loves that one. Bill Nye the Airsoft guy. Mm. Not bad. I like Bill Nye personally. But my name last time's not Nye. No, but you can, you can go to the court <laughs> and change it. Blasting Bill. Bana no, I like my last name. I like <laughs> I kind of like Banana Bill because then you just like carry a banana. Like <laughs> <laughs> throw a banana at no. someone. <laughs> like, Don't forget to bring a banana. Like, Don't forget like, to bring a banana. Yeah. Um, big gun bill, bill drill, bill big drill. gun bill. Um, others, what? Others, not. But the, others. Okay. I don't know. I'm just saying. <laughs> Someone said others. <coughs> Nick Meyer. Um, I'm looking into getting an AK and not spending too much. Bob, any recommendations? Yes, actually. Um, 
the RK47 from G&G is a pretty good, uh, pretty good option, and it also, I believe it comes with a little bit of electronic blowback, and I believe we still have a package on our website where you can get that RK47 um, with a, a spring shotgun. So that's a really good package deal, uh, but I would suggest the RK47, um, and Thumpy says Duckbill. <laughs> I like it, because I would, I would want to use that, I'd be like, Duckbill, what? Duck, Bill. Oh, oh! It's not that great of a joke, but it's it's kind of fun. And then someone said, "How about just simply, Bill?" Bill. Sounds so Some awesome. call me, Bill. Bomber Bill. Yeah. Um, we Bill. we do have, I believe, we do have some Cyber Monday stuff going on, and in fact, I believe our doorbusters uh, flow through Cyber Monday as well. Um, so take advantage of that. And in fact, let's take a look at our website. Um, yeah, there's a variety of different things going on for Black Friday as well as Cyber Monday. But if you guys want to learn more uh, past this live show, uh, you can go to our website and you can click on, essentially, uh, There's if you go to the main page, there's the Santa's giveaway ad on the left side. There's a million dollar giveaway ad on the right side. If you want to learn more about each of those, you can click on it. But if you look just below the main ads on the front page, it says Airsoft GI's Black Friday and GI Tactical's Black Friday. Essentially, those are each of the deals for Black Friday and moving forward. Uh, for each of the stores, our West Coast and our East Coast store, as well as online. So it's pretty awesome. Pretty darn awesome. Um, I just like going to the new product section, as well as the Doorbuster Shocker section, um, which you can go there right now and find some pretty awesome stuff. And what's cool, too, is there, there's only two things in our Doorbuster Shocker section right now in preparation for the release time of the rest of the stuff. Uh, but we have these cool countdown clocks, which you can see there, which is nice. Um, and if it's reading the wrong time, it, it has to do with usually the settings on your computer. So yeah, I've had that people be like, "It's the wrong time." What time does it say on your computer? Yeah, we had that issue when I think it was Daniel came back from the East Coast. He's like, "These times are all wrong," and he has yes, computer set to the wrong time. It was scheduling Facebook stuff. It was because his Facebook was set to Eastern time, and he's like, "Bill, why is it saying it's going at like nine o'clock?" I'm like, it "Says six right here." I'm freaking out. <laughs> oh, I'm on the wrong time zone. Yep. Also, I want to draw uh, your folk, uh, everyone here's attention to, we've got a custom that came out, which is uh, not very similar to a lot of custom I've seen in a while. It's called the Airsoft GI Custom M4 Quicksilver AEG. And, um, you know, it's a really good, uh, I believe this is an, uh, based on Echo 1 Platinum, yeah, mm -hmm. Echo 1 M4 Platinum. Uh, it's got a battle-worn appearance, but essentially our techs, uh, in addition to being great techs, they're actually really good at uh, modifying external features uh, with paint or any other artists. variety of tools. Yeah, they're essentially external artists. And if you check out this Quicksilver AEG, it's got a really unique look to it. So I'm curious to see who's going to get that one. Looks awesome, and if you want to stand out in the field, our customs are a great way to do it, and especially that Airsoft GI Custom M4 Quicksilver. You know which one was one of my favorite ones? Silver. the... Um the one that we did for, I think it was Wounded Warrior. Mm -hmm. Oh, that yeah. One, that one. I think awesome. it was, I think that the one that sold out really quick was the one Spencer did with like the paint to make it look like it was, the sand was in the crevices. And that looked awesome. That one, I was like, oh, that's so cool. Bill Bobaggins. <laughs> I like it. Um, Bill Bobaggins. <laughs> uh, see, there are actually a couple of the ones. Bill Boswaggins. Get out of here. <laughs> okay. Leave right now. Uh, Philosophy. Not bad. Uh, Bill 16. That's that's good. Bro, Bill, Chill, Bill, Bomber, Bill, Bully, Bill. Bomber, Bill is cool. I like Bomber, Bill. I'm not a bully. Well, maybe they're meaning in the old like late 18th century. Oh, bully! Oh, there's a bully there. Yeah. Oh, there's a bully there. Bully. Um, there's also uh, I actually like Chill, Bill, but uh, I mean, you know I. <laughs> that's actually funny. Back when I drag raced, my car was called too cold to hold because my sister's car was too hot to handle, and my helmet I actually had painted on it uh, said Mister Freeze. Nice. That should be my nickname, Mr. Freeze. That was my nickname in Drag Race. No one's gonna get it. No I don't care. Oh, yeah. I don't care. Ow, ow, ow. oh man, um, Bob, I'm looking for a new vest or chest rig to go with my AK. Any suggestions? That's from the Batman Skittles. Uh, cheers to you and your name. That's pretty cool. Um, I would actually suggest uh, because I I honestly don't have like a lot of extra cash to randomly spend on airsoft stuff, so I generally am really cost effective with my stuff. No, I don't. You don't? <gasps> no, I don't. I've, I have a lot of gear, but I also have a lot of other stuff I have to, you know, pay. Um, we all do. Pets and whatnot. Anyway, that said, I would highly suggest getting a Griffin Golem chest rig. Um, it's really affordable. I think it's around fifteen dollars. Um, and what's great about that is that it comes with uh, three uh, magazine pouches that are attached to the rig itself. And there's also uh, Molly space on the left and right. Uh, you can open up the chest rig, and there's a lot of space internally 
for, you know, maps, Big League Chew, which is great bubble gum, uh, beef jerky, basically anything else you want to put in there. But what's great about that is that if you're holding M4 Max, the Griffin Golem chest rig, just with the pouches that are sewn into it on the front, will hold nine, nine M4 Max. But I've also tested it with AK Max because I used it when I went to Irene, and I was able to hold two AK Mags in each of those M4 style pouches. So I could hold six AK Mags on the front of that, just buying the chest rig. So $15 and the availability to, to hold six AK mags on the front, I would highly suggest that. It's I think it's one of the best chest rigs for your money. And also my favorite one of my favorite parts about it is that even though it's like you know a very affordable chest rig, they didn't skimp on the straps. Like the straps aren't like these tiny little straps that will dig into your shoulders. They're actually extra wide so that you know it spreads the uh, it spreads the, spreads the weight over a wider area. And that's really nice, especially when you're running for long periods of time. So I won't rant too much, but the Griffin Golden Chest Rig is a great deal. Even if you have, even if you're using an AK, it will still fit that stuff. Okay. Mm. Um, let's see. Do, 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 do. Uh, please answer. I'm having trouble finding an airsoft course in Canada. Can you help? Uh, we'll do our best. Um, we, I believe, I'm not sure if our map on our website has a lot of Canadian fields in it. Um, there is another website, I believe it's called C3, uh, that has a wider variety of uh, different uh, fields and airsoft teams on there. Uh, but I would also highly suggest Google. That's how I, I was looking at uh, fields in Canada. And, you know, I was just kind of like thinking about like, where would I want to go if I could play in Canada? And there are actually a fair amount of fields in Canada. Um, but the thing is, because, you know, Canada is a really big place, you know, they, they may not be incredibly close to you. So I would suggest getting on Google and checking that out because there are fields out there in Canada. Um, some fields are open through the winter, some are not. Um, generally, uh, a fair amount of them are. So Here's one I like. What's better, Blue Force gear or high-speed gear pouches? Thoughts? That's actually a really good question. Um, I recently had the chance to use Blue Force gear pouches at an Airsoft game, which I haven't for a while. If you're looking just to have the lightest kit possible, you're going to want to go Blue Force gear. Personally, as far as usability goes, I prefer high-speed high gear pouches because I can fit such a wide variety of stuff into their taco pouches. I'm always amazed by what I can get in there. Um, the first time I actually stop it, first time I actually saw someone use a, a high-speed gear taco pouch, uh, they actually had a giant, like an absolute giant can of monster that they put into an M4 magazine pouch, a taco mag pouch. Uh, but it, it stretches and it fits, so like they were able to put that in there. So I... I use my taco pouches, my high-speed gear, to carry uh, tornado grenades, thunder bees, M4 magazines. I use it to carry the pistol mag pouches. I use them to carry uh, Gerber tools. I use it to carry big league chew. I use it to carry maps. I use it to carry bandages. I mean, you can use them to carry such a wide variety of stuff that it's it's just such a great pouch to have. In addition to that, I think they also came out with, like, extended pistol mag pouches. Yes, now. they did for, like, the... Um like the Chris or the Chris, I think they well, it's for well anything with a, a longer stick style, like magazine. a KMP nine and MP seven. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And also, I think uh, honestly, like SMG mag, so like your your MP five mag should fit in those pretty good and everything like that. Mm -hmm. um, but I like I'm a big fan of high speed gear too. I run uh, I got two tacos on my rig and plan on getting a uh, a Costa leg rig too to uh, for the LM four. They hold actually the LM four mags really they do really well. They do. Um, Horrible. <clears throat> Horror Bill. Horror Bill. That's another nickname. Baby Bill? Eh. Wait, wait. Hold on. It's Bill the Goat. Oh, Billy Goat. Meh. <laughs> Not bad. Um, do, 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 do. You know what's going to honestly be? It's going to be like a nickname that's going to happen because we're playing a game and I do something stupid that ends up in something funny and it's going to be like a combination of the events. Uh, we actually try. Like Headbang Bill. Like maybe I run into a pole or something like that. Yeah, that could be good. Uh, we actually were, were trying to give Max a uh, nickname, and eventually on the East Coast, we kind of settled on Sheets. Sheets. Because there's a re there's not a restaurant. There's a, essentially a gas station that also has, like, a food service place inside. It's really handy. They essentially have, like, uh, a couple monitors, and there's so many options you can pick from stuff you can get that I was like, going there, but, like, Max loves it. So <laughs> he's like, can we go back to Sheets? And we're like, and Daniel's like, that's your new nickname. Sheets. And I was like, Sheets! Sheets! Get over here! <laughs> so it's kind of catchy. Um, call, me, uh, call sign Sheets? Call sign Sheets. Uh, we haven't really used it much, so we'll, we'll try and use well, it. Well, when he, when he plays and stuff, we'll have to be like, Sheets! <laughs> Sheets! They, they cover by the Sheets! <laughs> Sheets! Um, what optic company is better, uh, Ames or NC Star? Um, that's a tough one because yeah, sure. they both have different style sights. Uh, personally, I use NC Star Optics more because they generally have optics uh, within the style that I want. And I would uh, hardly suggest 
uh, the NC Star Vism line. It's extra clear. You pay a little bit more, but the quality is really good. Um, lately, I've been using uh, an NC Star Vism uh, red and green dot that also has a laser integrated into it. I'll put that on my MP9 um, or a variety of other guns. I don't normally use optics because I use a face mask a lot, but I'll put that on uh, my MP9 on a, on a sight riser, and that'll allow me to get behind the sight if I want to use the red or green dot. But if I don't want to use either of those, I can just flick on the laser that's on the top of that, that actual red and green dot sight, and uh, it's just nice to have a laser sometimes. It's just kind of fun. Obillerate. Not bad. <laughs> BB Bill. Not bad. All right. Gary, Gary the Goat on YouTube. Thank old Thumpy later. <laughs> <laughs> nice Thumpy. It's good to have you here. Again. <laughs> I, you know, I like NC Star stuff. It's pretty good. But the thing, yeah, they are different in their own respects. Yeah, Aim Sports has a lot of different sites as mm -hmm. well. So I, you know, I just don't have a lot of them in my inventory that I'm able to compare right away. Mm -hmm. But uh, I want to answer this question, Ricky, from Ricky Sabo, Ricky Sabo. Please forgive me if I didn't say your name correctly. Polar Star versus AEG. Please answer. Uh, do you want to go first? Or do you want me to? You can go first, and, and I'll. I'll uh... Okay. My feelings. First and foremost, uh, Polar Stars are incredibly effective on the Airsoft Battlefield for a number of reasons. Uh, first of which is that they're very, very consistent. Uh, so if you're looking for, you know, to get an LMG build, a light machine gun build, Polar Star is great for that because you're going to have a lot of air generally if you've got a good tank. Mm -hmm. uh, you're going to be able to rock and roll that for quite a while. If you want a DMR or a sniper rifle, again, very effective. Uh, partially because it is so consistent. And that's what you're going to want to get with sniper rifle shots. You want to be able to rely on the shots you're getting. However, I personally, personally do not prefer Polar Stars, and it's just because of one or two simple things. I like to have feedback on my gun, and with Polar Stars, essentially it's just opening and closing a little solenoid or uh, a little valve, and you don't really get feedback on that. It's basically the gun itself is just a hose to push through air and BBs. So I, I prefer to have feedback. I like to feel like the gun is doing something as opposed to just being present while something else is going on. Um, so, you know, Polar Stars, again, they're very effective. Uh, I've actually sent, uh, <laughs> I, I always tell people about this, but I sent 60 Rebels at this one position, this forward operating base at Tim vs. Bob 4, and is protect, protected by two Polar Star machine guns that had interlocking fields of fire. And I lost 60 Rebels in probably the space of five minutes. Uh, and it was really tough. So I cannot doubt their effectiveness. I've seen it firsthand. It's just I personally would prefer an AEG because of the feedback issue. And I also really like having recall on my guns. Bill, what is your position? I'd go AEG. The thing is, like, I mean, like Bob said, they're great for uh, DMR builds because they're very consistent. The Polar and, Stars? Yes, yeah. yes, 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 yes. That's why they're Polar Stars. Um, and very good for high rate of fire, like, you know, light machine gun builds. However, I don't like a hose in the tank attached to me. That's my, really my main thing. And, like, my M16, I have a big enough battery. I'm pretty sure it can last a week without like of constant play without having to be charged. So, I mean, personally, I like AEGs and also the feedback thing is 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 interesting like because like an AEG, you feel the motor spin and everything like that. You feel but, something. Yeah, you feel something whereas like I've shot people's polar stars it's just like like you you don't get any feedback to it, it also can be very quiet that's another thing that's really yeah. important to mention polar <laughs> stars can be exceptionally quiet so i guess if you wanted to be like this badass like kick everyone's butt on your own by your lonesome or like want to sneak around a polar star might be the rig for you because mm -hmm. like not only are you going to be really combat like exceptionally combat effective you're also going to be very quiet so a polar star is a good setup for that but mm -hmm. again you know i personally i like ags i like gas blowbacks i like the pts I like gas electric blowbacks, recoil yeah. gun yeah thanks bob Absolutely. Mm -hmm. uh, Heath Phillips, your shout-out is approved. I think that was supposed to be for me. Heath Phillips, <sighs> shout-out is approved for me, Bill, not Bob. You're a bad person. Um, okay. Man. Oh, actually. Dude, it's not here. Oh, where do we put that? I think Aaron actually has it. I okay, think he's yeah. working on it. Someone's asking, actually, this is Jason Gong, is asking about uh, Josh's DMR from Irene. Now, that was a gun. It's probably around, it costs around like $2,000 to build, but that is another example of the effectiveness of Polar Stars. So if you want to go look at our old Op Irene video, you can go to our YouTube channel and search Op Irene. But what's great about that one is that because it was a Polar Star, uh, Polar Star build. We got a Prometheus, or I believe it's an Orga barrel, and it was a wide bore barrel. And with the Polar Star setup, you, it basically creates a coating of air around, or a cushion of air around the BB, so there's no bouncing around. And he was able to get unheard of ranges, and it was it was absolutely amazing, amazing because his range was so so far that I was essentially relegated to just a, a spotter for him, as I should have been. And we we're just knocking fools down. 
Um, Spider Airsoft HD, your shout out is approved. Uh, Mr. Muncherman, once again, your shout out is approved. Uh, we are reaching the end of our broadcast, but really quickly, Isaiah Gayton, your shout out is approved. As well as Fallen Warrior Airsoft, your shout out approved is approved. Yeah. Okay. Brock Journey, your shout out is politely approved. Politely. Uh, let's see. Do to do to do to do. I want to be sneaky. All right. Um, MP7 or M4. Interesting. I would probably go with the M4 um, just because it's more versatile. M4. You? Yeah, M4. Philosopher. Nice. Philosopher. Um, do, oh, yeah, this is a good question. Lazy Dinosaur. Bob, what do you recommend for a first gun? Um, well, as far as affordability goes, you know, Lancer Tacticals are incredibly affordable. You can get into the sport. They're very low cost, and those guns are actually very effective on the airsoft field. You know, they're, they put most of their most of the money as far as the price of that gun into making sure they have a solid full metal gearbox for that price. Now, again, you get what you pay for. So, you know, if you want to get something a little bit more expensive that's going to last a little bit longer, you know, there's the KWA CQR, or you can take a look at our G4 lineup. In fact, that's that's generally what I suggest for a first gun is like, Take a look at our G4 Customs because you, know, you can get something cool right out of the box, something that's going to be functional, and it's going to last you a fair amount of time. Um, if you want to go even further, our FMG4s, our full metal G4s, have all Lonix internals, which are, if you guys don't know, Lonix makes amazing internals, and nonetheless, because of that, they make amazing guns. So check out our FMG4s as well. Um, and hello from Denmark. It's yeah, good to see you. 2 a.m. Hey. there. Yeah. Hell yeah. Nice. Oh, we got a couple of folks from Denmark. That's awesome. Oh. Uh, That's right. late there. That'd be bad. All right, uh, really quickly, Kathy Freisen or Freisen. Um, we're really, um, I'm really sorry. Uh, C3 does not have uh, Canadian fields, only American fields. Uh, the best option you're going to have is uh, head over to Google, uh, try and look up Canadian airsoft fields, or look up airsoft fields and put Canada in the search bar. Uh, that's essentially what I did, and that's you know that's the best option you can do. Uh, besides, you know, asking uh, fellow airsofters in Canada or going on some forums. One thing we want to see. Uh, Giovanna Lucas, yes, we do have an MP7 right here. I think she's been wanting to see an SMG. She's from Brazil. Oh, that's cool. Hi from America to Brazil. Hi from America. To <laughs> Here's your M MP7. Excellent work. All right, well, that's going to do it for our live show. Uh, thank you guys for sticking with us. Uh, I'm sorry we couldn't get to everyone's questions. I really do apologize. Uh, we try to get to as many as we can. Anyway, I'm Bob the X Man Hildebrand. This is Bill. Hopefully, call sign something, something. nickname we'll, we'll figure soon. Something out um, but, eventually. Uh, but stay tuned to airsoftgeo.com for doorbusters are going to happen throughout the holiday season. <laughs> oh, ball busting Bill. I like that. <laughs> anyway, stay tuned to airsoftgeo.com for all of the doorbusters. You will not, not want to miss out on those. All right. Thanks, you guys, for watching. I'm Bob the X-Men over this bill. And now let me find the turn off button for this live show. Bye-bye. 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 Can't click the button. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye, -bye.